this demonstration, you'll learn how to compute the fatigue results for a simple tensile test experiment. Here you can see our problem definition. This slide shows the applied force and ultimate strength, as well as a table of alternating stress versus number of cycles to failure. I used finite element analysis and determined a maximum stress of 2.3 times 10 to the power of 8 pascals. Using this maximum stress value and a log-log interpolation on the SN curve, I manually calculated a theoretical fatigue life of 15,550 cycles. I will now perform this analysis in ANSYS AIM. I'll start by selecting a simulation template from the study panel. I'm going to select the structural template and then select a static analysis. On the options list, I specify that I'd like to compute the fatigue results as part of the template process. I'll select the file for this tensile test specimen. AIM loads the geometry and sets up a simulation. AIM has automatically created the physics solution process. In addition to setting up the meshing, physics, and default results, AIM created a fatigue life result that uses default fatigue settings. I've also added a few loads and constraints, a support on this end of the tensile test specimen and a force on the other end. Typically, I would assign materials to my model and specify material properties as part of defining my physics solution. To perform a fatigue analysis, I need to know some basic material property information, such as the SN curve. I can then enter the SN curve information for the assigned materials by specifying the cycles versus alternating stress in the form of a table. These SN curve values are already defined for standard materials in ANSYS AIM, such as structural steel and aluminum alloy. Now I'll click the results task. You can see that three contour results have been created for me by the static structural template, including fatigue life. The settings used for fatigue calculations are defined here in fatigue settings. When calculating fatigue, AIM uses by default the SN curve values defined for all of the materials assigned to the model. I can also modify a number of default options, such as loading type and design life. I will now evaluate and view my results. I will first take a look at equivalent stress. As expected, the maximum stress is in the stress concentration region, highlighted in red. This area is where we would expect to see the minimum fatigue life. And, as expected, the minimum fatigue life is also at the stress concentration region. The calculated value is close to the theoretical estimate of 15,550 cycles. In addition to fatigue life, you can also evaluate a number of other fatigue contours. This default workflow is based on defining the SN curve values for specific materials. Note that I can also define SN curve values here that will be used for all materials in the model. In addition, if the SN curve data is unavailable, I can still perform a fatigue analysis by instead defining the ultimate strength. This information is sufficient to perform a fatigue analysis. When you specify an ultimate strength value, ANSYS AIM internally constructs a simplified SN curve using just the ultimate strength, as you can see here. This simplified curve is then sufficient to perform the analysis. This concludes this demonstration of fatigue analysis in AIM.